Hello, everybody, and a good day to you all today. I am talking about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., episode number 15, Self-Control. In, in this episode here, we see Ida's plan in motion. You see, Ida has become more and more self-aware, and she has been observing these humans, learning from them, and then she's starting to realize, I don't think I need you anymore. And so she comes up with her own plan that uh, that a uh, Radcliffe, well, is not quite aware of. Because the Radcliffe created the world, uh, pretty much, I mean, he pretty much made the Matrix. He, he made the Matrix. And he's going to try to put everybody in it to keep them safe. Now, that's insane, and that's crazy, because, because that would kill everybody, even though their consciousness would be inside the computer, their bodies will die. But in his way, he's keeping them safe. Okay, as nut bars go, I guess that's one way to go. But Ida has her own plan that she learned from Rat watching on Radcliffe. She said, huh, well, if that's the way it got to be, then maybe I can do the same thing for you. Yeah. So now you got four LMDs that, who, are, who, who are the people, the, the, the head people in S.H.I.E.L.D. running the show. And now you have Gemma and Fitz saying to her, trying to figure out how are they going to stop these LMDs and take back control that they, 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 that they lost because they're not the best fighters of the group. They're not the strongest. So they got to figure out how are they going to win? Well, things get a little more crazy because, well, the people who you think are real aren't real and the people you think you can trust you can't and so now you got everybody trying to freaking out because they're trying to figure out who is not the who's, who's a real person who's the lmd who got replaced who didn't get replaced and this episode was very emotional there was a scene between fitz and Gemma that really got to my heart it was, it was really messed up it, it freaked me out too and i was also because even i wasn't quite sure at the time and at first, I was thinking of going one way, and then it, it, the show tricked me, made me think, I said, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, okay, maybe I am wrong. And then when I finally saw the reveal, I said, oh, I was still, like, shocked by it. I said, oh, my God, it was so messed up. And there was another scene with, um, with Gemma and Daisy when they, when, they, when they met because Daisy saw her extras. Her, I mean, she's, they, they made a whole bunch of robots of her. And she saw that, that freaked her out. She says, what is going on around here? So now you got everybody who's like wanting to trust one another, but they can't, they're not quite sure, because even when the LMD's saying, I'm real, they could be lying, or they, do, or they don't know they're a robot. Because May, for the longest time, thought she was May, until she found out she was a robot. Yeah. And it's interesting, because... The, the robot May was feeling emotion that she that, that, that the original May, uh, the human May, never really expressed. And she was finally expressing them for the first time. And seeing how she interacted with the other LMD is very interesting to me. This whole episode was great. I enjoyed I enjoyed everything about it. Everything. I think one of the best episodes I've, I've ever seen. It was very well done. Directed right well. The acting performances was fantastic. The whole emotional stuff that was going on inside, as messed up that it was, I enjoyed that too. And then even in the, in the, the, the even more messed up part was the um was how the people were acting in the in the Matrix world. You see that like, you see Colson where he's at. You see Mac what's going on there. You're not quite sure. It looks like he might be a family man. And you see um and you see Fitz. But there were certain people in here had some messed up fantasies. And I think to myself, that what makes them happy? Because you saw what happened to May in this world. And this, what? You saw what happened to um Gemma, which was really messed up. Oh, I don't want to say what it is. Once you see it for yourself. And if you have already seen it, well, you know. And then the one that shocked me, too, was with Daisy. Because, see, these fantasies... Or actually, what's inside their head? It's something that they actually want. That's what they actually want, because that's, that's what keeps them inside the world. They get, if they try to give them some kind of a fantasy, they, they'll break out of it. But this is as something that's actually in their heads, something that they actually do, actually do desire. So, 
That's how they get caught up in this world and want to stay. And seeing what these people actually desire was really messed up somewhere. Holy mother. Wow. Now, I don't know. I'm not. Now, I don't think that what, what happened to Gemma in this world is what she wants. I think this is what Ida wants. How about thinking? See, I think Ida has a weird fascination with Fitz. Maybe she might have feelings for him, or she wants to have feelings for him, or something like that. I'm not so sure. And maybe what happened to Gemma is her way of getting rid of the competition. I don't know. So this is a theory I have. But like I said, overall, great episode. I enjoyed it a whole lot. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about the episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And if you haven't been watching it, I say check this show out right here. Hopefully when you watch it, you will enjoy it. Don't take my word for it. Watch it for yourself. Well, that's all I got to say about that. So give my channel a big old like, hit the thumbs up. Boom. And subscribe to my channel and share. I really appreciate it, like I always say in my dreams and in real life. I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.